Yeah, no play mat for Kevin. All right, we're, looks like we're underway. Basic Island. Pitching two spirit guides, Elvish and Simeon, and Charlotte's agent. So a fast start. I think we're going to see some rhinos. There's crashing footfalls. Modern players know what's up. Force and response, pitching Shark Typhoon. Uh, life totals at the top center of your screen. Hopefully that stays in the shot. If not, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so just a Charlotte's agent on the board, crashing footfalls countered. Here's a ponder. So as we were getting started with today's stream, Twitch chat was talking about Painter, how Painter fits into the current metagame, some takes coming in, Painter's becoming a secondary strategy in decks like uh, Stompy decks, 8-cast decks, Saga decks and whatnot, but other people feeling like Painter's still a top deck, Raikun, who's in the chat right now, just won, a, uh, I believe, 100-player event in Germany uh, with Mono Red Painter. So maybe some uh, disagreement in the chat. All right, so Kevin down to 17. And now we're seeing uh, Incubate, I believe it's called. I don't know what the second side of the card is called, and I guess MTG bot's not working? Oh, now, um, hmm. I guess I hit the wrong, uh, ah, thank, thank you, Massimo, for getting the, uh, correct text up on the screen. Appreciate that. I was trying to very quickly skim through what MTG bot put up there and I picked the wrong one. So it's called incubation slash incongruity. It's an Odawara on Noyan's side. So the Shardless agent once again passes the turn. So the force of will on the rhino seems to have saved Kevin at this point. As Otto joins the chat. Excitedly. Brainstorm here for Kevin. Nice Ice Age brainstorm. Without Kevin, there probably wouldn't be legacy firing in New York City for, for years at this point. Kevin keeping it all alive. At Game Storia, there's a Taiga. Shout out to Kevin. And it was recently Kevin's birthday. I saw a happy birthday to Kevin in the chat. Right, here's the basic planes. Kevin, the real OG, yeah. We were out to dinner a couple of weeks ago. I think this was for Roland's birthday. And uh, wasn't Kevin saying he played in Pro Tour 1? <laughs> I just forget what the story is with that. But I think Kevin played in the first ever Pro Tour. Roland says accurate, so I'm remembering correctly. Sometimes I joke that Kevin, uh, when, when Richard Garfield was designing the game and trying to figure out how it all works, Kevin was there. Okay. Gray Manor Games at Utrecht Ground, yeah. There we go. All right, Shark Chump blocks the Shardless Agents. And here's Uro. Yeah, I'm going to fetch. Uh, I'm going to 
Nice. Go. <laughs> Twitch chat already upset about that shark token. It was temporary, everybody. It was just blocking for one second. Everybody calm down. Here's the wandering emperor. Okay, now I'm nervous about tokens. Let's see what happens here. Okay, we're just exiling Chocolate Station for now. Second main. Uh, okay, Sean the Sage hits the stack again. I guess we're going to see some rhinos. Seeing Noyan reveal the deck. Nothing too surprising in there. Spirit guides. All right. Out, uh, cascade cards like Violent Outburst. And uh, here's Crashing Footfalls once again. Kevin taking a look through the... Uh, Revealed cards. So the Wandering Emperor will have uh, more than enough creatures on the board to deal with if this Crashing Footfalls resolves, and it looks like it does. And there are the Rhinos. <laughs> yep. All right, Supreme Verdict. That'll do it. Plus Wandering Emperor. No targets. Uh, yeah, I think. Um, I need to look up the oracle text of the card. Okay, so Noyan apparently needs to look up some oracle text. I don't think Kevin goes for non-English cards. Hmm. I didn't get to see what was looked up there. Maybe Twitch chat did. Fire on the Wandering Emperor. Ah, so maybe looking up if that can target any target. Force pitching something. I believe it was a dress down. Place into exile. Sorry, that went out of frame. All right, here's incubation once again. Yes. And I think it was a miss. Passing the turn. Let's see if some samurai start getting pumped out here. I don't know. Staff of the storyteller. Okay, that's kind of neat. Putting some some counters on it. Ah, the Wandering Emperor's up to three now. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, Swords on Uro. Before its trigger resolves. Going on up to 28. Looks like Kevin has stabilized really well here. Didn't draw a card with Staff of the Storyteller at that time. Improbable Alliance. One. One card in hand. Force of Negation pitching Brazen Borrower. Okay. Yep. Drawing a card off Staff now. Yeah, fire, fire ice. Uh, the, the fire side says any target. Okay, plusing the spirit. Another staff of the storyteller. All right, we're seeing some staff of the storyteller value stuff happening here, and I think it's safe to say Kevin has completely stabilized this game. It's going to be hard for Noyan to fight through. At least for now. Looks like Noyan has a violent outburst, though, in hand. That could uh, get the offense back up and going. There's also a Brazen Borrower and an Endurance in hand, it looks like. Swing for five. Um, Hardcast Endurance. <laughs> Hardcast Force on Endurance. Endurance is countered. All right, I'll take five. Just gonna turn the pitch. I wonder what will will Petty Theft bounce a spirit here, maybe on the end step. Let's see. 
Yeah, petty theft now on Insta. All right. Uh, mm. Yeah, the uh, the Wandering Emperor has not made any samurais yet. Maybe Kevin trying to get the Wandering Emperor up to a loyalty where it can activate twice to exile creatures. Maybe. Mm. All right, looks like a Crushing Footfalls is going to resolve, and Elyon will once again get two Rhinos. Kevin only has one blocker now. Draw a card. Only has one blocker, so another blocker will allow the Wandering Emperor. Hmm. Do you make a samurai here? It's a brainstorm resolving on Kevin's side. I don't know what Kevin has in hand. Something like a Swords to Plowshares or Prismatic Ending could uh, help quite a bit here. All right, lands are going out of frame. We'll figure that out. Teferi Time Raveler is on the stack and a fetch and response. Bashing and Brazen Borrower. Okay. Bouncing a Rhino. And Prismatic Ending on the other Rhino. Oh, no. All right, there's a samurai. YouTube commenters are not going to like that, Dogen. Drawing off staff. Caracas. Not really super relevant. All right, gives the samurai a plus one plus one. It's a two two vigilance samurai with a plus one plus one counter on it now. So it's a three three. Oh my goodness, another staff of the storyteller. It's pretty good. In combination with this wandering emperor, it's kind of ridiculous. And Teferi's on the board. Yep. All right, pumping that samurai once again. It's now a 4-4. Four, four. Attack for four. What is the game plan here for Noyan? Is this uh, even a winnable m game at this point? Vantage bar is all the way to the right, maybe off off the charts. There's endurance. I think anything. Hardcast force. All right, that gets the scoop. That's That's the end of game one. All right, people are thanking Scott in the chat. That's awesome. All right, going on now on the play, Scalding Tarn. Flooded Strand for Kevin and pass. No fast start here for Noyan. You started the game with a handicap. <laughs> All right, so a Raugrin Triome, I believe. I like the Triomes are seeing legacy play. I like the White, blue, red colors. I'm still unsure about it, but it seems pretty good. Is it? Is it there's a one of I feel like it would be pretty reasonable, I think. Yeah. All right, 
Kevin unsure if the Triome is any good. We'll figure it out. Blended Strand. Another fetch happening here, this time for a basic island. Master Shroom says that new red and black legend seems good in a Ragavan shell. Not sure which legend you're talking about. Wendy says Triomes in the legacy format always hurt my brain, but I also kind of love it. Yeah, they seem reasonable for legacy. Oh, okay. I was like, what, what is happening here? All right. Double fetch for Noyan. Maybe an end step violent outburst is about to happen. How's the haze down in the city? Looking out my window, right? I have my windows right here, and the sky looks orange. Everything looks orange outside. Wild mouth burst trigger. Sure. What story? All right, crashing footfalls hits the stack. Yeah, it it does seem like uh, the air has looked a lot worse just over the last hour or so. If you're watching this later on YouTube, we're recording this while New York City is in a uh, air quality problem of some kind thanks to some wildfires in canada tony thank you for the raid welcome everybody welcome welcome you're here in the uh first match of today's stream so you joined at a perfect time Strastaddy says the air isn't too good in the D.C. Baltimore area, too. What's up, Strastaddy? Yeah, um, I, I don't even know if it's related, but I have a cousin living in Montana, and supposedly the air quality there is not so great today either. So it's really all over the North America, I guess, to some extent. But in uh, New York, I mean, I live in New York, so I'm only really keeping track of New York. Uh, it's, it's pretty bad. They're advising people to stay home today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to every summer in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah, I know the people on the West Coast are like, well, yeah. Uh, uh, Air sucks in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah, be careful out there, everybody. Scott says it's bad in Milwaukee from the fires. <laughs> Canada strikes again. Yeah, Canada really, uh, really is killing us over here. Probably in Singapore, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, on the... Uh, the local news, they have like, you know, the wet, the weather charts and whatever. They're showing like a map of New York State and Quebec and surrounding the, the whole area. And uh, it's all like purple for air quality right now, you know, like really hazardous. It's just like, oh, man. All right. It's a fair time arrival on the stack and force of negation hits it successfully. Kevin's down to 10. Endurance is sticking around on the board. All right, maybe not. Swords. And hard cast force in response. Okay. So protecting this or endurance as much as possible. 
Kevin down to seven. This game seems to be going better for Noyan so far. All right, it's the first time Raveler. That might slow things down. Bounce endurance. Yep. Can't flash in endurance anymore now. Fetch with flooded strand. It's an island. Force of Will pitching Simeon Spirit Guide is nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was neat. Don't see that very often. All right, here's Staff of the Storyteller. All right, things might be starting to get get uh, stabilized by Kevin here. All right, Endurance gets cast at sorcery speed and pass the turn. Fairy Time Rattler ticks up. Spirit can block. Kevin's down to six. Draw a card off staff. Attacking with the spirit. Okay. Maybe a prismatic ending is about to happen here. Yep, there's prismatic ending. Or can man, thank you for the resub. We accidentally unsubscribed you from 90s MTG. Jeff Bezos is attacking our format. Yes, exactly, exactly. All right, the Seiju blows up staff of the storyteller. Kevin will now search the library for a land, the basic land type. Scott with a great question. How are we feeling about the banana token situation? Um, yeah. You know, I, I, I issued a statement when the Jumpstart 2022 set was coming out about the whole banana token situation. And I'm just going to say again that I'm, I'm really unhappy about it. It's really unacceptable. It's a banana token. And they never made one. All right, here's Charlotte's agents. No. So you just look at my whole library if you want. Okay, so. Why is Kevin looking at the whole library? I'm confused. I know it's a fairy on the board, so the card can't be cast. Okay, maybe they messed up for a second here and now are fixing it. Maddening Hex and Minsk and Boo flashed on screen there. Mystical Dispute as well. I haven't seen Maddening Hex on stream in a really long time. Can someone tell us the last time we had Maddening Hex on stream? Go look it up. Octavi Kong should be legal in Legacy. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. Lots of rules. Go ahead. Okay, so a ponder here, maybe on Noyan's end step. Did the cascade cards just get placed on top of the library? I think I think Noyan and Kevin messed us all up. <laughs> I think the cascaded cards went back on top. Did footfalls go back in the deck too? Oh dear. Yeah, the cascade the, the actual card that Cascade finds should be in exile and stay there. Yeah, th this is why we should just all just play on MTGO, everybody. 2002 graphics. All right, spirit attacks. Swing with the fairy. Attacking to fairy, and we're seeing a shark get created here, it looks like. 6-6 six, six shark. Okay. Make a 6-6 six, six shark. All right, that gets a good games and a rough from Noyan. That is the match.